Okay, on problem 21, it says write the sample space for flipping a coin and rolling a six-sided die. Okay, all the ways that could happen is a heads with a one, heads two, heads three, heads four, heads five, heads six, all the possibilities for the die with a heads, and then all the possibilities with the die with a tail. And uh, you can see that each one of these is, a, uh, is an outcome. And the listing of all 12 of these is the sample space. And you can know that there's 12 of these because there's two choices for the die and six choices, uh, two, two choices for the coin and six choices for the die, and two times six is 12. Okay, uh, problem number 22 says, what is the probability that a die uh, lands with a three showing? Well, there's six numbers to choose from, so it's uh, one out of six. What is the probability that a die lands with an odd number? Well, it's three odd numbers, one, three, and five, so that's three out of six, or one half. 24 says write the sample space for flipping two coins. Well, that'd be heads, heads, tails, heads, heads, tails, and tail, tails. And again, you should list both tails, heads, and heads, tails as two separate ones, uh, because uh, by doing this, you're keeping the probability of each one of these outcomes to one-fourth. On problem 25, it says, what is the probability that when you uh, when two coins are flipped, one lands heads and one lands tails? See, if you only had this being listed just heads, tails, then you wouldn't realize that the right answer to this is uh, 2 out of 4. So it's 2 out of 4, because each of these have a 25% chance. 25% and 25% is 50%, and um, that's it, 50%. 2 out of 4 reduces down to 1 half, or 50%. Okay. Uh, problem 26 was probably when two coins are flipped, they both land heads. Well, there's only one chance of that right here. So the probability of that is one out of four, or that right there has a 25% chance. Uh, neither lands heads. That's that one. So that's one out of four. Uh, one lands heads. Well, that's these two. Okay. One doesn't include this one. This is two. So it's 50% chance. Now this one says, 29 says, at least one lands heads. Well, that would be these two and this, because at least one means one or more. So that would be a 75% chance, three out of four. Was it probably a two coins uh, being flipped? What is probably that at most one lands heads? At most one lands heads means one or less. At most means one or less. So at most one means one or less. So that would be these two plus this one. And again, that's 25, 25, and 25, 75% chance, or one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Either way, three fourths. Write the sample space for th problem 31. Write the sample space for three coins. Well, what I did here was I cap copied the sample space for two coins being flipped right here, and I pasted it here twice. And then on these four on the top, I'll add tails going across for the option for the third coin. And then below that, I'll add heads as the uh, other option for the third coin. And by doing that, you have the sample space for three coins. If I needed to write the sample space for four coins, I would copy this and paste it here. And then on all these, I'd put tails, and on all these, put heads. So on this, you can see that the number of uh, outcomes in the sample space is eight. The number of outcomes in this sample space for two coins is four. And for one coin, it's only two, heads or tails. For th uh, four coins, there would be 16 possible outcomes. It goes up powers of two. 32 says, was it probably when three coins are flipped that uh, you get uh, that two land heads? Well, this one would count. Not this one, because that's three. But this one would count, and this one would count. They're all equal probability of one eighth. So there's three of these. So the probability is three out of eight. Uh, on this one, at least one lands heads. At least one means one or more. Well, all these have one or more heads except for this one. So this is the only one that won't land that way. This probability right here is one out of eight. So the probability that you have one or, or more heads, which that's what it means, at least one heads, then that's seven out of eight. Since this is the only one that doesn't, and that's one eight, then the remaining, there's seven remaining. So it's seven out of eight. Uh, this one, 35, says uh, more than one head. Well, more than one head means two or three. doesn't include the one. So that would be this one, this one, because that has three heads. That's more than one. This one, and this one. So that would be four out of eight, or 50%. And that's everything from that exercise set.